in the earlier lectures we have completed with ratio analysis now we'll move on to the second part that is leverage i hope you all have the format that I have, that i have given you all the table the format in which we will move further so now we'll start with leverage the name of the chapter is not exactly leverage the name of the chapter is business risk and financial risk this chapter comes under chapter 4 part 3 okay of your practice manual and study material so you all won't find it difficult to find this particular chapter this chapter is also known as leverage as soon as i say this word leverage the first thing that may have came in your mind is what does leverage basically means leverage meaning before understanding the meaning i'll give you a small example what does leverage in a different way means if you can identify what i am drawing this is a seesaw this part over here is leverage on the each side of the seesaw particular individual sits and as the pressure goes down the opposite individual goes up and when the pressure of the opposite individual goes down the opposite side of the individual comes up okay the basic thing that i draw this diagram of seesaw is you will come to know as i write the meaning okay so first understand the meaning and then i'll explain why i did this this is just a type of acronym that will help you to remember what leverage means okay leverage refers to the amount of debt that a firm slash company slash business uses to finance its assets a firm bet lot of debt in its capital structure is said to be highly levered a firm with no debt is said to be unlevered so basically a company finances its capital structure in this format equity preference and debts debts refers to debentures borrowings etc okay so what does this leverage means basically this is the primary thing that the company goes for okay then when the company needs more capital to invest into the asset that means to finance its asset they go for debts they borrow money from the general public or from the banks or financial institution okay what does that borrowed money does that borrowed money gives leverage that means a push a push so that the company can finance its assets and can roll money and gain benefit okay with a fixed cost with a fixed cost that is if company borrows debt that is debentures or any type of borrowing they have to pay a fixed amount of interest okay whereas in equity the company has to provide dividend generally the dividends are provided at a higher rate than that of the debentures okay so if the, not debenture entire debt so if debt is used to finance a particular asset it gives a leverage to a company it gives a push to a company in all directions that it helps the company financially also so that it can finance its assets and move ahead rather from borrowing in the form of equity okay we'll come to know why i have given this example as and when we are moving ahead so firstly i'll want you all to please pause the video and write this much
I hope you all have copied. Copy this much. So now let's move ahead and understand what this business risk and financial risk means. Okay. Business risk. It refers to the risk associated with the firm slash companies firms slash companies operation. Operation means its day to day activities, its cost, either variable cost or fixed cost. Okay. It is the uncertainty about the future operating income which is also known as EBIT EBIT refers to income before interest and tax if you want to write the full form you can write it earnings before interest and tax okay so business risk is completed now let's move on to financial risk okay what does financial risk means financial risk means it refers to the additional risk placed on the firms shareholders as a result of debts use debts means debentures borrowings etc okay it refers to the additional risk a shareholder bears when a company uses debts in addition to the equity funds okay companies that issue more debt instruments would have higher financial risk than companies financed by full equity i hope this is quite clear business risk is very clear business risk refers to what business risk refers to the revenue that is generated by carrying out the business subtracted by the cost cost are of two types variable cost as well as fixed cost subtracting that the whichever amount comes is the operating income or it can be also known as earnings before interest and tax so business risk is basically the risk that the business owns sufficient amount that it can cover its cost that is variable cost as well as the fixed cost so this is basically the business risk the the sm short and sweet meaning of business risk is this okay and financial risk refers to the risk that the business faces due to issuing or borrowing money from the general public or issuing of the debentures why there is a risk the risk is because the company has to fixly pay a particular amount to the debenture holders or the person who has provided us the debt okay so which will get subtracted from EBIT that is earning before interest and tax if we subtract EBIT with interest will get EBT that is earning before tax I hope this is quite clear firstly and this additional debt that we have taken with our equity funds one thing is sure that firstly we need to pay to the debt holders their interest amount okay if we do not pay the company during the time of dissolution or liquidation 
द कंपनी हैज टू पे टू द शेयर होल्डर्स फर्स्ट नॉट शेयर होल्डर्स द डिवेंचर द डेट होल्डर्स फर्स्ट आई होप दिस इज क्वाइट क्लियर सो दिस इज द फाइनेंशियल रिस्क दैट द कंपनी फेस दैट दे हैव टू हंड्रेड परसेंट पे टू द डिवेंचर होल्डर्स इवन इफ दे डू नॉट अर्न एनी रेवेन्यू ओके दिस इज द फिक्स इंटरेस्ट दैट दे हैव टू पे क्वाइट क्लियर प्लीज पॉज द वीडियो एंड कॉपी दिस मैच